I bow to all the seekers of truth. The truth is absolute. But the human awareness has not reached the state to be aware of the truth. To know the truth, one has to know it on your central nervous system. You cannot know it by your mental projections. Whatever you have discovered so far was already there and that's how you have discovered it. The truth that we have to know is a very simple thing, that we are the Spirit, the Spirit which is the reflection of God Almighty. We are the reflectors of that Spirit. So far, the reflection is not so clear cut. And to become the Spirit, we have to understand that it cannot be done by our efforts. It's an evolutionary process which has brought us to this stage of human beings. We have come from amoeba stage to this stage without putting any efforts whatsoever. Now, if we have to go higher, we cannot put in any effort for it, nor can we pay for it. Many people think that paying uh, money you will achieve God. God doesn't understand money. These are all man-made ideas. You cannot pay for it. You cannot think about it. You have to become. Becoming is the point. What is Sahaj Yoga? The word Sahaj means spontaneous and Yoga means union with the Divine. So, in simple words, it is really a power that you're born with and can be awakened only through a pure, intense desire and yearning for it. Kundalini the driving force behind Sahaja Yoga. All of us have a motherly and soothing spiritual energy within that lies dormant at the base of the spine in the sacrum bone, which is quite interesting as sacrum in itself means sacred. And thus it makes it very clear that the ancient civilizations knew all about it. They knew about this great power and were already practicing it since ages. When the Kundalini is awakened for the first time, she pierces through the six chakras above the sacrum bone, emerging at the top of the head, the fontanel bone area to be precise. As a result, a slight cool breeze can be felt at the top of the head. The word fontanel itself means little fountain, which shows again their ancient relevance about this practice. This phenomenon is called self-realization, enlightenment, liberation, or samadhi. In Shimataji's own words, self-realization is the first encounter with reality. And it has been an extremely important topic of discussion in all the ancient scriptures and spiritual practices, which was extremely reserved and difficult to attain in the past has now become a mass phenomenon by the grace of Shimataji and her vision and responsibility towards humanity. Shimataji's idea and vision. Shimataji believed that all the problems that the world is facing, be it ecological, political, social, or emotional, arise from the ego or the I-ness of the human beings. And because of complete ignorance and lack of knowledge about the true selves. Her idea was always to help people realize their true nature, to rediscover that pure, powerful and innocent child within them, to get connected to that eternal source of power that created them so that they could enjoy and live collectively without any confusion or hatred. 
This is the essence of Sahaja Yoga and one of the most important goals of our meditation to dissolve the I and let the real self shine. I'm Katerina, I'm Italian living in Berlin and I'm a psychologist and I would like to explain to you the benefit of Sahaja Yoga meditation in the health. For the children, uh, there are some research who proved that uh, the attention is improving for in the school and they have a better results, results because they, of course, uh, they have a better concentration, but not only because they are more relaxed. And the meditation also the, helps not only the children, but also the adults. And for example, we could see that uh, th there is a reduction of anxiety when uh, we meditate, and uh, how can and the stress also. And there is an improvement on the on the number of uh, gray cells in our brain, who become in a way younger by the time. And this comes because we reach uh, a state that is a thoughtless awareness state done from this uh, meditation, from uh, awakening of our inner energy that uh, help us to get to, to this state. And how this uh, uh, state also um, allow us to uh, activate our parasympathetic nervous system and to balance our sympathetic nervous system. That is, when we are anxiety, uh, in anxiety, when we, are, we have fears, when we are stressed, our level of uh, fears and, and anxiety goes down and through the meditation we can relax and we can cope much better our life. In, I can tell you about also my own experience. So uh, I meditate already now since 26 years and uh, I must say that um, it was for me a very important step and change in my life. First of all I was young and this uh, helped me to know people from all over the world. It was really an amazing experience because Sajoga meditation is really in more than 108 countries in the world and also uh, um, I met people who had the same value of me and the same view of life would uh, help me also to, uh, to daily meditate every day. And this uh, helped me also not only day by day, also in my life as a psychologist, a psychotherapist. When I work with my patient, the meditation helps me to, to be more detached and to see uh, the problem and all what they have from a decent point of view. This helped me to have a brighter uh, understanding. And of course, it helped me also a lot to, uh, to reduce the stress in my work. So I can recommend you to meditate. And this meditation is good for children, for uh, adults and for older people. So there is no age for that. And you can always find 10 minutes every day and this is for your health and for your benefit. Sahaja Yuga to us means that it's so beautiful that you keep your silence with you when you uh, when you bring the kids to the school or you go to work and uh, you are still in silence. This is... Um, You're in silence. You're balanced the whole day yeah i mean it's not always easy to, to to be in silence but it gives you the the, the ability to be in silence you now this is maybe the most important thing that you don't react all all the time uh and say okay i just cool down where is my attention and also mm -hmm. you can feel it uh, when you see the kids they are yeah they enjoy it also when they have their morning meditation or they evening meditation and uh, they go to school they are much more relaxed they are fo focused focused mm -hmm. yeah of course and it's easier for them to learn to be creative yeah to be creative with if music or painting and all these beautiful things yeah so 
it brings you also a lot of joy and, and happiness. So this is so important for us in, in this, in this uh, daily life, you know. I mean, sometimes you are in a rush, and, but then you can come back to yourself and you can, you can find your, your own beauty inside. Yeah. You can feel your spirit and uh, this you can keep always with you. Oh, es hat mir ganz viel Halt gegeben, ganz viel Zuversicht und den Mut, Projekte anzugehen und die Kraft, in schwierigen Situationen ja, durchzuhalten. Und ja, es hat mir ganz viele wunderschöne Erlebnisse geschenkt. In Saatjoga habe ich das ganz viel Wissen bekommen über Prozesse, die in mir stattfinden, auch die außerhalb von mir stattfinden. Und ich habe sofort spüren können und immer wieder spüren können, dass das, was ich da mache, mir gut tut. Also ich fühle mich dadurch sehr beschützt und gehalten in jeder Situation, auch wenn man durch die ganzen Turbulenzen des äußeren Lebens immer mal wieder abrutschen könnte, fühle ich mich wieder aufgenommen, zurückgenommen und geliebt und beschützt. Hm. Ja, es bedeutet für mich im Gleichgewicht sein, mit der Liebe verbunden zu sein und mich auch in Verbundenheit zu spüren, ja mit der ganzen Welt in Liebe, mit der Natur, mit allem. Meditation is a state of awareness, a state of consciousness, which we can always refer to in any moment of our life. So we can have a try now. And we can start by closing our eyes, putting our attention inside. And we can put the right hand in our heart. Here resides the spirit within us. And we can ask inside, we can ask this motherly energy, Mother, am I the pure spirit? In our heart, we can feel the true self. When our heart opens, we get connected to the spirit. Our thoughts are vanishing. And we enter into a state of thoughtless awareness. state of thoughtlessness, we are completely in the present. In meditation we are supported by the motherly energy, the Kundalini in our sacrum born, which rises passing all the seven chakras and then piercing through our Sarasvata chakra. So we can now put the right hand on top of our head, above our fontanelle area. And we might feel the rising energy. You might feel it like a stream of coolness coming out of our head, which we feel in the palm of our right hand and top of our head. The 
Sansara Chakra opens like a 1000, 1000 petals of lotus. And we can put our attention now just above our head. We stay in this state of thoughtless awareness and can put back the right hand on our leg and we sit some more moments in the state of thoughtless awareness. Just both hands, both palms up and enjoy the moment. Open our eyes again and we can thank our inner energy which is helping us and we can just enjoy the moment.